What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land, and I'm here with an Achievement Walkthrough for Human Fall Flat, the Factory level. This is a new level that released in August and has four new achievements, so I'm going to run you through the level and show you how to get all of them. This is a short, fun, and easy level, and we're going to get all four achievements in one playthrough. The level is under Extra Dreams next to Thermal, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so this is the Factory level. There's an achievement for not turning any lights on in the first area. There's a couple switches that turn the lights on, like this red switch right here, so don't press it. You're going to press the red button over here, and that's going to drop an ignit. Press it twice, because we need two of them. And then behind you, we need to put the ignits inside here. Put one on each one. The light will light up green when you put it in. Once they're both in, you're going to press this red button here. And that's going to make the cog. We're going to need more ignits later, so I just did that. Take this cog and you're going to put it in on the other side where the missing one is. That's going to open up the door. Now up here is a radio. There's four radios that we need to throw off the side for an achievement. So this is the first one. You need to climb up here, grab it. And then just take it with us, and we're going to throw it off the side. And watch out for some buttons, because they will turn on the lights. Alright, so one radio is gone. Now we need to work on this next area. In this area, we're going to be building a lever. So we need ignits and some pieces. And we're going to build a lever, and then we're going to put it here. You can see the different doors have uh, symbols on them to show you the pieces that we're going to be getting. So we're going to start over here, and we're going to get this piece. Just grab onto this, ignore the button so you don't turn on the lights. Then let go at the right time so we can launch ourselves over to the next one. And then we're going to do it again. And the next one is a ball. We're going to do the same thing. If you don't reach the ledge up there, you can walk up these stairs. And we're going to do it again. And then one more time. There's stairs to get up if you fall. Now just land in this thing. And then go down the hole. Now over here are some stairs. And then there's a button here. Step on the button. This is a shortcut back in case you fall off, but also um, after we get the piece, we're going to take that way to go back too. Now over here is the puzzle. There's three levers, and we basically got to play a crane game. We got to grab that ball to the right and then put it in the fire. So just line it up with the red laser and then drop it down, and then you press the red button on the right to grab it. Now once you got it, you're going to maneuver it back to the left side, and we're going to drop it in the fire. Once it's over the fire, just bring it down a bit, and then press the button to let it go. And if you do it correctly, over here you're going to see this thing come up, and it's going to give us the ball that we need. So now we're going to take this back to the middle room. We're going to walk across this path over here. Now we're going to make this ball. It's going to be part of the lever. You're going to put it in here. And it will light up green. Now we need an ignit as well. So we're going to go back to the first room. Press the button. Get an ignit. We're going to grab two of them because we need more of them. So might as well save a trip. Grab two and then make your way back. Now we're going to put one into this machine here. Once it's in, you can press the red button next to it. And that's going to start it up. You can take this other one and put it in one of the other machines. We need to make the lever next, so I'm going to put it in here. 
Now the ball is done and made, so I'm gonna grab it. It's a little hard to see, but it's on the ground. So I'll pick it up and bring it over onto this side and put it where the ball goes. And then we just need two more pieces so we can make the lever. Next, we'll go to the left door over here and make the lever bar. So we need to go get the piece. Don't press this red button here. That will turn on the lights and void the achievement. Now we need to go through this area. Be careful. You can turn the camera so you can see better. You just need to go at the right time to get across. It's not too bad. Now over here, we gotta make it through. You're gonna go on the left side, and then in the middle, go over to the right side. Now over here is a red button. We're gonna press this, and now we'll open up a quick path to get back. This way, if you fall down, you can just uh, skip to right here. Now more things that we gotta get past. All right, now we need to uh, monkey climb across this. This is actually pretty easy. Just uh, hold on with one hand and then hold out your other hand to grab the next part. And once you got a hold of it, then you can let go of the first one and then swing to the next one. There we go. Now let go of the middle and swing over. There we go. And now this is the final part. Just wait for the right time and go through. And after you get past that, you're going to see the lever bar that we need. So grab this. And then you can just go down here and it will bring you back. Alright, so now let's make the lever bar. I already put the ignit in. If you didn't get it, you'd have to go back and get another one. Press the button. There we go. Now take this, go on the other side, and drop it in. Now we need to make one more part over here. And we still need one more ignit, so I'm going to go back and grab that. We only need one, so just grab one. Now you can drop that in here. And now we're going to go make the base. Which is in this room over here. And once again, don't press this red button here. It will turn on the light. First thing we're going to do is pull down this lever. Make sure it's all the way down. And that will start at the machine. Once it starts moving, then we can climb up it. Be careful climbing on this thing, it's a little bit of a pain because it's spinning. Now you can grab these things and hold on to them and then it will bring you around. I kind of missed my jump but I still landed in an okay spot. You could jump in the middle and still uh, get yourself up. <laughs> I don't know what was going on here but I got a little lucky. Either way, however you do it, just get up to this platform over here. And then when you're over here, just wait. A platform is going to come down. Then jump over to it. And this platform is going to bring us up. Once it does, and you can get up, jump up. And then go over to the side here, and we're going to ride this cog up. So just grab it and hold on. Now you're going to go straight and run over a few more cogs. Just be careful. You might get sucked into this middle one like I did. Just hold on if you do. And then when you come back up, try to grab the other side. There we go. And then you can jump off over here. Now if you press this red button, 
It will lower our path so we can get back up here easily if we mess up. Then come over here and grab this cog, and that's going to pull us up. It's going to meet with another cog, so stand up and grab this one. And that's going to pull us up higher. And then when we're up here, we're going to jump onto this spinning one and work our way across. There's a moving platform, so just wait for it to be by you and then jump on it. And then jump off onto the other side. And then jump over here. Jump onto these platforms. They're also spinning, so be careful. Now what we have to do is jump over and grab that ball and swing over. And the lever base is right down there. That's the last thing we need. So, just be careful. At the right time, jump and grab the ball. Swing a little bit and get some momentum so we can make it across. And there we go. Grab the base piece, and then we can go down here, and that will bring us back to the middle. Alright, there we go. This thing is stuck behind my back. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so let's bring it over to this machine over here. Which needs an ignit that I already put in. Now we'll put this in. Press the button. This is going to make the base piece. Now take this and put it with the other ones. And this is the last piece that we need to make the lever. So put it in. And then press the button. And that's going to make our lever. There we go. Now pick it up. And we're going to put it in this red spot behind us. And now we're going to use it. If I can. <laughs> and that's going to open up the floor below us. Now we can go in there, and there's a portal to get to the next part. Don't go in the portal yet. Behind the stairs is actually a radio. The second one, we want to grab that and get rid of it. We're going to get the achievement here for not turning on any of the lights in the first area. So now we don't have to worry about the light achievement anymore. So now we got this annoying radio, and we need to throw it off. Don't bring it through the portal. We need to bring it up these steps, and then throw it off where we threw off the first one. So just try to place it up. It's a little bit tricky because you can barely see the steps because it all like blends in. So just try to make your way up and then we can get rid of it. You can even hold on to it and climb at the same time which makes it a lot easier. I can't wait to throw this thing over. <laughs> So loud and annoying. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. So that's radio number two. We need two more radios. But now we're going to go over here and we're going to go into the portal and go to the next part. All right. So this room has a simple puzzle that we need to do to get out of. We have one side that has symbols. The other one has just a switch. The symbols are always the same. The answer is always the same, so you don't really need to go over and hit the switch. I'm just going to go do it just to show you what the answers are. And I'm over here anyway, might as well. So when you hit the switch, it will show you what the answer is on the other side. So it's circle with a line, diamond, and then uh, the sand clock or whatever it is. So now we're just going to go over here and we're just going to input that code so we can open up the door. All you have to do is just pull them and turn them. There we go. Now the middle one is a diamond. And then the last one is the circle with the line in it. Once you set them all up correctly, 
There's a switch to the right, so just pull that, and that's going to open up the door. All right. We're getting close to the end here. This is a very easy area to get through. There's a radio that we need to get, though, and it's behind us above the fire. So a really good way to get up there is to grab this arm and then just uh, jump off at the right time. There we go. And then take this radio and throw it off the side. Throw it off the side. There we go. And that's radio number three. And now we just need one more. Now you're going to grab the arm again and it's going to bring us to the next conveyor belt. Just be careful and try to land on it and not go in the fire or fall off. And then we're going to do the same thing again. There's going to be another arm that comes. And then we're going to grab this and it's going to bring us to the final area. There we go. And we're almost done here. This is the final part of the level. First, you want to press this button. That's going to open up this thing here so we can take the block out of it. And we have three achievements left. We need to still get the last radio, which is in this room. And we also need to throw one of each item in this room into the fire in the middle. And then the other achievement is just for beating this level. So this block is actually a timed block. You want to grab it and bring it over here. Once it turns blue, it's going to stay where it is. And then we can climb across. And then jump up here. And we're going to grab one of these ignits. Like I said, we have to throw one of each item into the fire. So this is one of the ignits. So we're going to pick it up and bring it in and throw it in the fire. It's kind of annoying to get stuff into the fire. I started swinging them and that kind of made it easier. All right, there we go. So if you press this button, that will reset the block. And now we can put it over here. Same thing, just hold it until it's blue. Once it's set, we can climb across. You got to just make sure it's high enough. If you go too low, then you're going to have to reset it and put it back. Now, once you get up here, there's another button. So press this button. And that's going to actually give us a second block that we can start using. So press the button and get this block. And we're going to put it on this side over here. And now we can go back up and get across so we can get the item over there and throw it in the fire. So grab this thing up here and bring it down. We just need one and we're going to throw it in the fire. in there there we go all right now we need to reset these blocks and we're going to use them on the other side we're going to put one here and then we'll go back and get the other one Now we're going to take it over right near the other one on this side. Just made it. Now we can climb up. And there's another button up here. This button's going to give us a third block. So I'll press this button. And that's going to open up the third block. Under the button is a valve. There's two of them. Just grab one and throw this in the fire. There we go. Press this button, get the third block. And then we're going to put it over here to the right of the button. And once it's set, we can climb up and we can get our last two items that we need. One of them is the fourth radio, 
which we'll throw into the fire as well, and that will give us the achievement for getting rid of all four of the radios. And then also is the last item in the room that we need to throw in the fire for the achievement for throwing all the items in this room in the fire, one of each item. There's a cog up here. And this radio has much better music now. <laughs> more low-key and relaxing all right so throw them both off and now you need to put them into the fire which is always so much fun of course once you do get the fire in the radio you're gonna get the achievement for disposing of all four radios now we're gonna take the cog and throw this in the fire And once you finally get the cog into the fire, you're going to get the achievement for throwing one of each item in this room into the fire. And now we just have one achievement left, and that's for beating this level. So to beat this level, we need to take these three blocks and put them on these switches. So just hold them down and then let them go so they get stuck there. Once you have all three on, the wall's going to open up and there's going to be a portal that we can exit out. So just walk over here, you're going to see this platform. Once you get on top of it, it's going to bring you up. And once you get up there, you can run straight and jump right into the portal. And that's going to finish the level and give us our last achievement. So that's it, guys. That's the achievement walkthrough for the new level factor in Human Fall Flat. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helps you. Leave a like if it did. And I'll catch you guys next time here at Achievement Land. Oh.